Hello everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, this is episode 4, man, I haven't filmed some of this in a while, today's the last day of 2018. That's right, now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah, yeah you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Parker, I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at her. I was always ugly, Dad. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... You know, just don't, don't undermine Dutch. Which was to lie at all. Head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Who is Leviticus Cornwall? I mean, now I gotta rob that train. Railway magnet. Sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Oh, boy. Everyone ready? Who the hell is right. look at this corner? I haven't played it in a while. I mean, I, I, I guess as you can tell, I haven't played it in a while because, you know, I'm kind of behind everybody. Nah. I'm just going to be talking for a while. I'm not getting a word in, so, you know, whatever. Let's deal with it. Now, boy, we're going straight for the back. You and me, Morgan Gray. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're going to need to move past. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, Mark. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Finally, we get the ride, jeez. I know most of the game isn't snowy, so when do we get out of it? When does it stop being snowy, is my question. I guess it's still up for a lot of episodes. Like a lot. Ah, but I mean, you know, this game is nice. Snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Mike Bell. Charles. Smith. You see, out of snow, finally. I mean, there's still okay. snow everywhere.
No, he's at least far as I can see. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm and keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the train. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Yeah, Mark listen, Dutch. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now, everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Man, I'm trying to come on. My my horse keeps slowing down, and I, I I think it's time to uh, invest in a new one. I don't know, I just saw two horses in a row take a dump, but... Yeah. You wanna head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Am I supposed to get off the horse? Alright, but if I need some horse weapons, I'm screwed. Hmm. This is a good spot. Yeah. I must remember to thank home old Driscoll for planning it out so well. That was great, just kind of fell off a cliff. No big deal. I wasn't really given instructions on what I should be doing. I mean, I didn't know if I would need the horse or not. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. This is fun. Just kind of rolling around this thing, taking that cord. I mean, like, yeah. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay. Good to hear. Where are they? They're up there. I mean, I can't keep that promise with no mistakes. You know, I could have just walked up around this path, but I decided to, r to jump off the side of the mountain. Brilliant. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Yeah, we will. Where's my horse? Everything right okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. That includes you, Arthur? I 
I'm randomly on my horse skin. I mean, it won't let me move on to it, so. Gentlemen, it's time. Yeah, here comes the train. You all know what to do. I was told I gotta get on the back, so I gotta wait for the whole thing to pass. Here we go. Oh, great. I gotta fold these two. I believe I'm not gonna let you go, Lenny. Cause we gotta stop this thing and I should probably pull off my, my gun. That's not what I meant. I'm just trying to loot him. That's what we're doing, kid. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. We moving up. Shouldn't we push up? Isn't that what I'm doing? Say. How you doing there? I'm okay. It's like, should we push up? Well, I kind of am, but I kind of want to loot these guys. Oh, God. I just got to the train engineer. Just got to that train engineer, so you better tell me I better be on top of this train and I'm not have to push through everything else. I was so close. Oh I 
can't believe I have the, cir I have the circle around and I shot him in, in the ribs. I mean, I don't think that should have killed him, but... Pop up over it. Ever what? I wish I knew where you are. Where are you? I can't see you. You know, I legitimately can't see you, right? I'll see him eventually. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We Five. They didn't ask for it. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. We just want to ride the bar. 
I mean, I just say we kill them. Search that train. Excuse me. I'm trying to search the train here. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. We're already in here, so how do we not see him? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. No mind taking some fine brandy. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of paper. Nah, I'm not gonna bother read this. I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contacts. Invoices. Blah blah blah. Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. Cool, I got a bond. I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> no, there's nothing in there. Oh well. No, that's probably nothing in that desk either. Okay. Got a little bit of money, I got a bond. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we could probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Would you get rid of all of this? Yeah, money? Arthur. Uh, Arthur, yeah. About that. Arthur finding the bonds. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. I'm gonna let him live. Not gonna kill him. Turns the engine on, not this one. I shot them and like, oh yeah, 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 we're gonna get on the train now. I'm pretty sure I might have actually, actually shot that guy. Of course I want to overwrite my autosave. You know, I want my game to be the freshest. I want it to be the most updated game in all the seven seas that you can ever find. Well, good thing I didn't have to run there myself. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. 
We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this. Do we sell the bones? I told you we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Cool, it's not moving day. Good thing I didn't actually have to find the thing I had to go on. Usually when I do that, it all goes wrong. And I don't have me actually have to walk. Just to help us move automatically. Just give me that little break we know that we don't need. Anyway, I for, uh, there's a dream I had uh, yesterday morning. It was about, you know, it was about like 1, maybe 2 a.m. Then I had a dream I was in a Christian book club. It was a very, very long story, but there's a there's a double story time coming out soon. It's kind of like a double-edged sword, in a way. So when I fell down the stairs, and it's about my Christian book club dream. It's a, it's a long, long story, but... But part of me thinks it's worth it. Only part of me do. Like, I'm not fully saying, hey, you know, it's the most worth it thing you've ever seen. Micah, get over here! Yes, and back with that one. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Yeah, buy you a whiskey. Well, at least we're finally out of the snow part. We're finally settling into what might be permanent land. Not entirely sure. I'm trying to match speed with the caravan, it's not exactly working. Uh, I'm trying. I'll keep us moving, but calm. Oh. Oh man, Arthur, you broke the wheel. I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing. What is that? Try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. So useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Ah, oh, the wheel falling off the thing. I mean, you know, it's all looking great in the land of Arthur Morgan, isn't it? What do you think? If they want in trouble. Oh. Parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. Yeah, how do you rob and kill people pleasantly? Sounds great. I mean, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget 
This here's a con man, Charles. Man, no, uh, we're just good to the game, don't know. I'm getting any ideas. Don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Man, I have a feeling I'm gonna go off some edge or something. It's not gonna go well. So what happened to your track? I don't even know if I have one. At least not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All the life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. Man, I thought you said this wasn't far, and you know, I've just uh, been traveling for about 50 years. Working girls. Our kind of place. Man, Arthur's gonna be double the age by the time I get here. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know. About halfway down. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. And people die, people lose their heads, and I've been following this path for too long. Dutch, we've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Sounds about right. What are you working on there, anyway? Oh, man. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good man, what a long episode we gotta yeah, deal with here. You buy in the store. Yeah. You can what a long this. episode. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can we just get there already? Yeah. I've been going on for so long. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't really want the details, I just want to get to where I'm going already. That time we're going at a decent pace. There you are, brother. Head in there, just follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Slow up, I'll jump on. I mean, you could have gone a little bit faster, Any eh? Trouble in here, nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. Should have just left Javier behind. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Man, I feel like a child. Are we there yet? That time, here we are. I don't know why I needed to hop on. He could have just walked here. You were wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so, gentlemen. We have survived. Man, I hope so too. I hope it's perfect. I hope it's a decent place. Arthur, 
and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. So we we're on to something big. Then my I'm just gonna skip this. I just wanna save and cut the episode. Oh finally, chapter two. We are finally on chapter two. Yes. After a long we're just recording. We're on chapter two. Oh boy. A couple weeks later. Can I just like save it? I don't think the purple mountain's majesty. Okay. Hey everybody, thanks. Thanks for watching. I think this is a pretty decent episode. We're finally on the second chapter. And hey, look, I got a trophy.